All right, everybody. Carcane is first. What's up, Carcane? Quick video. So Josie Wales, he had asked how we uh, pack for a match and, and how do you keep the scope safe and all that kind of stuff. So we'll get into it here in a minute. You guys can see this uh, lovely room here. So over here in this wing of the house, <laughs> we got the sink. We got your almost full size. Look how tall I am, guys. I'm about eight feet nine because that's a full size refrigerator. Okay, I could be lying. Got a refrigerator, freezer, microwave. Got old Ray Ray's bed. What up, John Townley? Inside Freedom. Got mine. We just got the stuff in. This is all the lighting we got here. Let me see if I can turn some more lights on. Try not to be too loud and obnoxious for anybody sleeping on the other side. So, um, when it comes to ammo, a lot of times you're only allowed to bring 11 pounds of ammo. So we ship this. We ship this box. Actually, I should say Ray shipped this box. What's up, C6? This had our ammo in it. It had some uh, different pillows. Cleaning kit. I guess I got to go up here to show you, huh? Uh, the large. These are all sand sock gear. These are nice and light. These are the ones if you got to hike a lot. That's the, those are the bags you want. Here's the ammo for a pistol. So here's 300 rounds. I think it's 300 rounds. A couple spare mags for the AR. So what we did for that. Oh, yeah. And then... Uh, Hoppies number nine did not make it. I don't know where the stuff went because it didn't leak all over the place. But you guys can see that there's barely at the bottom, any at the bottom. What's up, Abigail? So this was supposed to be full, and it wasn't. Got patches. We're going to clean after every day. Uh, you should always clean up after every day. If you're going to fly, spend the money, you're going to... Spend the time, the hotel room, and all that crap. Uh, cheapest thing you can do is make sure you clean your rifle and pistol because you don't want that to be the reason why you had a problem. And we got oh, we got X-ring. Yeah, I'm showing them. Sup, I'm, sup, sup. I'm answering some of the questions that they had on a recent comments. So how we traveled. So we kind of showed them about that. How long ago did you send the ammo, right? Uh, I sent it Monday because anytime you send ammo, it's going to have to go ground. You're not going to be able to rush it. And finding like solvent and cleaning supplies are really, really tough. And you got to be careful mailing that stuff. And if you do mail it, I showed them all that. Yeah. It's, so it's going to spill everywhere. It it's leaked just... all over the place. Good news. The wine tastes pretty good. That's awesome, Abigail. Glad it worked out. So, um... so anyway, I mailed it on Monday. It got here on Friday. And so I made sure it was here a few days beforehand. I checked with the receptionist. They said it was okay. They opened it up, of course, uh, but that's okay as long as it was here. So, because exactly. you're limited to 11 pounds of ammo total. Total. That's not per bag. That's per person. Which is kind of a dumb rule. Yeah, it's stupid because you can't carry enough ammo for everything. And for this match, ammo. and for this match, we are shooting both rifle and pistol, so that makes it even twice as difficult. So, where's your bag at? Uh, my bag is here. I use a this one. Yeah. So well, I use work. this Pelican. It's Pelican luggage, and basically, I put all the soft goods in here and pistol. And the pistol. Now yeah. let's go ahead and flip up. Now let's go ahead and talk about this because I had somebody arguing with me um, about one of the chats. The last two times we fly, we've flown, he said they're not allowed to open your rifle bag or your cases without you being in their presence. That doesn't work. I'm telling you. It's the rule. It, 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 I don't care if it's the law or if it's the rule. Use dehydrated ammo. Use dehydrated <laughs> ammo. They are going to take it around back and they are going to open that box. And if you use regular locks, like we've got locks like these. Yeah, use these ones here. See, they're not supposed to be TSA locks. They're not supposed to have access to this. But, how much is that war worth to you? Because what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up missing your flight or whatever. Today, they told us to hang out for about 15 minutes. And after and they about called. 15 minutes, they called on the phone and they needed luckily, a combination to the locks. Luckily, I answered it. 
All right, so. So that's the first thing. So here, you hold this, and I'll open this, please. So they want to know. Uh, Josie Wales had wanted to know how we how we bring the rifles without damaging them and that kind of stuff. So let me take these locks off. Well, okay. So on this one, this case is a Pelican. Um, I would highly recommend using Pelicans only. I wouldn't use uh, any budget cases or anything like that. Uh, the foam, this is not going to be pretty, but you got to think of how many different rifles probably end up in this in this case yeah. throughout the year. And I probably got about six of these different Pelicans. Uh, this is one of mine. I got some that are longer, but you're still going to be limited to 50 pounds. This box was exactly 50 pounds. Uh, mine, which I'll show you over here, was, was 49.5 pounds. It's actually over half a pound. So he's opening it up right now. Let me hold it so you guys can see it. So this is what we got in here. So you got you got my card here. It has my information on it on the other side. You got this that they actually went inside your, the box. They sign it. I got my uh, pistol mags. Man, it's dark right here. Uh, that was dark. Mag pouch, bipod, mags, kestrel, some ammo. There's a bunch of ammo on this side. One of the things to think about is try to make it so that the wheels, because the wheels are on this side, try to keep it heavy on this side, and then also try to keep it so your rifle's standing up. Basically. Yeah, that's some of the best advice. Make sure all the weight's at the bottom on the wheels. And then the other thing that I do is I never, ever... I know it looks pretty when you guys put your rifles in so that when you open it up, it's all displayed nicely and everything else. No. Don't take what I'm saying the wrong way, but think about this for just a minute. When they handle this bag, they're going to grab it by the handle, okay? They're either going to grab it by this handle or the other handle, and they're going to slam it down. I never put the optics, especially this having the Wilcox on it, on this side. I put the gun in what I would call upside down. It doesn't look good for presentation. Uh, but what it does is now when they slam it down on the ground, this is going to hit on the bottom portion in the foam the instead of putting oh, any pressure on the scope or the Raptor itself. Hope that makes sense. Uh, let's see. So same thing with with this bag, like Ray's bag. This doesn't have, this is something that you guys are more than likely be doing. Say you're going to go, you have a concealed weapons permit and you're, you just want to fly to, I don't know, whatever. Some, some other state. So, a lot of people will, here we go. So I got my battle belt, oh, this is Ray stuff. Some stuff in here, I got holsters, blah, blah, blah. And the, the meat and potatoes is this. So this is, this is locked on. Now, a suitcase like this is very easy to break into. You can basically put a pin in it. You can go like this. And then you can just run the zippers back around to get into here. So you can't consider this locked. So when you're carrying a pistol in a luggage case, one of two things has to happen. Either the hard case has to be lockable, like mine, or in Rick's case, he put a Glock case in here and put a lock around the clasp. Yeah, this would be out. They would have the information. I have it on backwards just to keep my personal information. But now inside of here is the infinity. I did use, uh, everything's about pounds, right? So the Glock box worked great. It is lighter than some of the metal ones that I do have, but I actually grabbed the cable that uh, comes with the other one. So I, I looped it through the frame in here so that I've seen these things because I travel a lot, you guys know this. Um, they'll come out of the belt, and this thing will be completely open. The guys' clothes or ladies' clothes and shits everywhere. But you don't want a gun just, you know, running around on the belt by itself. So Another thing to consider is, okay, so one of uh, two other things is going to happen. It shouldn't come off the conveyor, but both of these with pistols in them came off the conveyor, okay? So make sure you're at the conveyor when this comes out. Now, if it looks like a gun case, like these rifle cases, they're going to usually hold those in the customer service area of the airline baggage handler. And you'll have to show them ID and they'll check it, but it's like they don't even care about the pistols. Yeah, I did bring the Sky Bipod, so I'm going to be running that on the Atlas. And let me show you how my setup is. 
So on this one, these Pelican cases are nice, but they're a little heavy. Yeah, it's hard to do. You might want to flip that. I'm going to flip it. What's up, Tim? Uh, where's the flipper deal? There it is. Let's go, okay, so let's go over here. we got some light. This has a lock on here. And so this locks recombination, but this is a TSA lock. They can access it without my combo, okay? So it is a TSA approved, and inside of here, I actually have a case, which is a Glock case with my real name and stuff. So it doesn't have to be locked because this is hard-sided and lockable. So one of two things, something has to be locked, either this or that. And then, like I said, I usually just put, you have to declare that it's empty, and basically I have the Akai with three mags. That's pretty much it. Most of my optics I'll carry in my pack. Now this pack is about 35 pounds, and so on the plane... This is what we've been, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is what I carry. This is our carry-on. So, as the carry-on, I got the really right stuff tripod, and I have all optics in here, binoculars, things like that and I keep my laptop in here. Um, it's also, if you're using like an Everly stock in the compartment where you carry the rifle, it's a good place to carry spare shoes or things like that inside of here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then what I'll do is I'll offload this and then I'll use this to work with. And then these G-code pouches or any of the pouches like this, these are really, really good for not only magazines, because if I need a magazine real quick, I can tell Rick and he can pull one off my pack instead of me searching for one. If I know I'm getting ready to run out, let's say it's a stage where I could possibly go through two mags, I could say, give me another mag, and he's got to go right to the pack and grab it. He's got one of his as well. The other thing that's cool about it, your cell phones fit perfectly in here. And, <laughs> well, I was going to show him this. And believe it or not, I know this sounds stupid. Uh, but what you can do is it, you can record from that. So if you needed to have something recording or whatever, it's, it's just like that. Which Pelican case uh, holds the Krispy Kremes? There's, no Chris, there's nothing around here, okay? There, literally there's nothing. nothing. There's a Subway and that's about it. Subway and a Dollar General. But yeah. it's not even, what is it called? It's not a Dollar General. Family Dollar. Family Dollar. The original. The original. The other thing is, is these took up a lot of space. So these were shipped as well. In the box. I'm sure Rick told you about. Yep. And so it's in the box. It's in the box. Now as far as my my case. Oh. I gotta cover this up. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well we'll do this well. These guys can see my ugly mug. So it's been fun. We had a good adventure. It started off really early this morning. What up, Rams Country? And Ray puts a Playboy magazine in that little pouch. No, he doesn't do that. But he doesn't want everybody to see his name tag. Uh, yeah. No, I don't family dollar, that. where the dollar stays in the family. That's why I thought you'd bring your own donuts, 45 Auto said. So it's been a long day. We started off. Oh, another thing. Guys, always pre-fit your locks because a lot of times the, the shank on the locks will not fit. What the hell? And you'll have to take a drill bit into the plastic. That's what we had to do. It. <laughs> you have to drill these so that it'll fit. You'll never get them into some of these. This is not even close to the right diameter. So this is not even close. So what I did was I drilled this with a drill so that you can get the hasp through there for the, the lock part. All right, so there's the first one. That's the first one. Yeah, because if you show up to the airport and you need to lock it and you can't you're get the screwed. lock to fit, you're screwed. You're going home. Unless you have a drill bit in your pocket. Yeah, not usually. So if you guys want to know what Ray's code, it's one, two, three, four. We ran overnight some Krispy Kreme, LOL. Oh, we can overnight some Krispy Kreme. Yeah, Joaquin. Okay, okay, Mississippi so. Street Strip Clubs. Or the dollar stays in the family. I've seen that. They, okay, so now we're opening up Raimundo's. And as you can see, it's backwards to what you think it is. But the reason why is, and like we talked about. This is cut phone from AI, but they do the exact same thing. They already know people are going to drop it. So I've got my suppressor in there. I've got these the downrange systems cards. Um, I, you might ask, well, well, you've only got... Four boxes of ammo is because this was exactly 49.5 pounds. Yes, it was. Uh, we had to actually take the bipod off because the bipod was making it weigh a little bit more, so I had to put that in the other one. 
Uh, inside of this, I've got my hog hill. <laughs> Ray is much more organized. No, no he just can't put in anything in here. Yeah, I can't. I couldn't add any more weight because the rifle weighs so much more. I always take your bolt out too. Three leg, baby. This is very important. If you put this bolt inside of here, that's a high spot. And if they start stacking Squishing a bunch it. of stuff on it, you, it'll break your bolt knob off. So take your bolt out. That's why most bolt axes, I think, ship with the bolt out of it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the rifle case. He's going to be running this. Yeah, more on that too. Yep. I'm also, See, you can shake it, and it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, show them the Maverick. Yep, I'm going to be running the Maverick. We're both going to be shooting suppressed, so that'll help. So that's it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully we answered some of those questions. Walter, what's going on? I'd risk it if the expensive parts. I wouldn't risk it with the expensive parts. Yeah. All right, you got anything to tell them? So I shouldn't roll around with my rifle in a gunny sack. Probably not a 45 auto. Yeah. Bigger screen would be better on that electric dope card. It, it's right well, by it's your face. It's perfect size. Yeah, because it's right it's by your the face. the same size as a regular dope card. Um, we're working on that. That's right. It's something in progress. So if you guys got any more questions? Yeah, ask away if you got questions, because I always like the questions if we can answer we, and learn uh, something instead of just chattering. This all started yeah. off with uh, Josie Wales was asking how how we ship our stuff, get it to the match while it's being protected. So thanks for the uh, good idea for a video. And other than that, we, we don't have to do anything till tomorrow at 2. I can't believe I'm sitting down on this hotel room floor. Who knows what's going to pick me up. Saw a tra tarantula today. Those things are everywhere. According to Ray, I'm like, yeah, they right. Were, I, they were everywhere. And I was like, hold on a second. And then uh, he was like, what? And I said, they're tarantulas. That wasn't a tarantula. I said, yeah, it was. So you let's can, see here. You can hang an Amazon Fire tablet on your That right. was on yours. That was on your camera. Oh, that's right. I videoed it. Which way to the casino? Actually, <laughs> they... There's people playing Texas Hold'em in the freaking lobby right now. Yeah. No, it doesn't start at 2 a.m. It actually doesn't start until Thursday morning, but tomorrow or uh, Friday morning. Yeah, is tomorrow is sight-in day, uh, getting everything zeros. ready to go. You guys have a great time. Stay safe, stay focused. Looking forward to some videos. I hope we get some videos. We're going to try our best. We've got approval today um, to where we can set the camera and just put it up there, hit record before we start the stage. So they'll give us like a five second buffer i saw the electric dope device runs on your version 13 only on the iphone if you have older iphone you can't yeah if you have an older iphone it won't it's kind of <coughs> a newer one iphone 8 or something <clears throat> hey uh, andy armor does your no <clears throat> okay so that's a great this is a great question this locked. question is, is does your ammo have to be locked in a hard case it does not but it needs to be in the original manufacturer's container. Now, they can call you out if it's in a reloading box, depending on the airlines, okay? So just yeah, be careful Yeah, some don't on that. care, some do. Boys, we're counting on you to bring home the prize. Uh, no, we're just here to have <laughs> the experience and have a good time. That's right. I got a lot to and, learn uh, today. Get a lot, of, get this a lot of trigger time. I'm wearing my new hat. Somebody gave it to me. I ain't wearing that thing. It's structured hat. It's I, don't wear structured I don't hats. wear structured hats. I ain't got no forehead. I wear the old man hats. I'm an old man. That's true. All right. Well, if you guys got no more questions, we'll get out of here. It's only been 20 minutes. We'll give them a few minutes to give some more questions they want, and then uh, shut it down. Let's get this thing figured out so we can sit. You ain't sitting on no damn floor the whole time. I know. We'll get the left side of the air conditioner too loud. Is the air conditioner too loud? Oh, there you go. You can sit on your bed. I can sit on my bed. Let's see. Red or green? What was he asking? I don't know. Hold on. Everybody, be sure to hit that thumbs up for Rick. I appreciate that, Ramsey Country. Shabal Seki, what's going on? Eric's out there. Got me a card, DDD, on it, and my dope card. Good luck, gentlemen. Logan, New Mexico. That's where we're at. That's right. Logan. Huge town. Huge. When you get Population home, do your wives make you contaminate. Population 14 people. 
<laughs> yeah, that's about it. Freeway, the four hour drive was fun. I got to, not much to see, but it was cool. Looks like a nicer motel. Uh, there's two motels to choose from here, and it's owned by the same person, and one is across the street from the other one. Oh, he's talking about Maryland when we were in Utah? Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, there was. That was bad. They had like pictures of dead bodies sketched out on the floor and shit. It was, it was out of this world. Out of control. I gotta get my tea. I gotta get my tea on. What else? Uh, who we, snores we, the loudest? Me. Ah, uh, fucker. Did you drink my Diet Coke, dude? Nasty. Really? Well, my drink was over there earlier. <laughs> See what I gotta deal with? You quit moving my shit around. I didn't touch your stuff. <laughs> Alright, you guys wanna know what we're gonna be powered up by? This will be good. It's gonna be good stuff. So we got clove crackers. Expected weather, waking up to freezing temperatures uh, starting Friday, so it'll be like 34-ish. Uh, might drop down a little lower and then highs in the 60s with winds 20 miles an hour. He hates what I know. Look at this, $1 for a lemon pound Yeah, but that's cake. a no-name brand. Who cares? They're it's probably, probably sketches from my book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they would want to break in here. What else we got? The old man cannot make it without that. <laughs> all right? So I have to have that. And Ray has to sh shave this month, so. Yeah, so I actually bought some, uh, let's see. I can't believe you bought that stuff. We Bar got Barbersol. Barbersol. Because I have to shave once a month. Once a month. Ritz crack is good enough. Shampoo. Shampoo. For later. <laughs> no, this is for cleaning the guns. Always have some gloves with you, um, just because you really need to clean these things every night. I mean, the bolt gun, no big deal, but on the gas gun, especially being suppressed, use Molly or Dry Lube with an inside case neck for bullet seating. Uh, I have not. Just some protein. Is Rick running the night force on Black Beauty? Yes, yes. he is. Um, that thing, you know, Black Beauty is what I call the money maker, and that thing works well. It's got the 4 to 16. I did put the Wilcox on there. Immediately, I heard the conversation kind of go, <laughs> yeah, no, Otter. 45 um, degree. I immediately saw right that he, I don't want him to use that as a, as a handicap or a crutch. Okay? Try not to snore this time. x ring will need his sleep if he wants to. Yeah, <laughs> probably some good earplugs. No, I mean, I, I sleep pretty heavy. So anyway, uh, we've got the Wilcox. I might take it off after the first day. I don't know. Right now, everything's good on it. It's zeroed in. Uh, we do need to zero the 45 offset. We did bring close. a Borka kit. And of course, I don't go anywhere without my Borka kit. And I got uh, dope cards. Oh, my armband. Should I show them our thing? What thing? The armband? The triangle? Yeah, sure. All right. So because Rick is new to this, Look, there's a lot of area to cover. So you're gonna have you're gonna be on the mark yep. and you'll have a left and right limiter. <laughs> Funny, I also call the money maker black beauty. That's it. Uh, okay, Brian Marks. So with my one hundred yard zero on my bolt gun, should I be just left or right of center? Ray always goes slightly left of center. Because it is a given, as you go out, you are going to get spin drift, and most barrels are left to right twist, and so it's already going to start pulling to the right. So if I have to choose one or the other, I want it to be left of center. Otter said he calls dibs on the little spoon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so you will have a point. You'll have a right marker, left marker. Right. Every, all the targets got to be in the center. Then. Leaving Tuesday for South Carolina for Snipers Unknown Challenge. Awesome. We'll see you out there, see Craig. See you out there, Craig. Yeah. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll be out there. KB32 will be out there. He'll be shooting with KB32, and I'll be shooting with Tony. So here's what we're doing. I was surprised to hear there were... No, they actually cap it off. That's about all that I think the course can handle. There's 50 to 60 teams. Yeah. Yeah. I would assume. All the pros say look for the black strap holding the target. Uh, that definitely does help because sometimes they're wider and so you're looking for usually that V formation or the frame. You got to remember you're trying to look for something that looks out of the ordinary. Uh, but this one's a different style match. There's a lot of sagebrush here. 
and so it's easier to conceal the targets. And the way the format for this, this course works, there's one of two options. You will have a two by three, which means there's only three steals. So what Rick would do is he has to be the first shooter. Secondary always goes first. When we get there, we got six minutes. We have to find those three targets. He will engage those three targets with unlimited rounds, then he moves off of the mark. You have to be able to touch that mark. When you're shooting. I agree, Ray. Always just left of dead freaking left center. That's right. So Ramsey Country agrees. You have to be able to touch that mark without extending or coming off the gun. He'll shoot three. He should get three. Okay? No pressure. Once he does that, and I'll be able to spot for him, he's got to roll off of his gun and or move out of the way. I've got to engage those three, and then I have to move forwards with Rick, but he can't shoot anymore. Then I have three targets, those same three that I have to engage from a different position. Sometimes that might mean using a bipod or, some, or a tripod or something like that. But then there's also what they call like a one by six, which there are six targets out on the course. And what you do is you find the targets, as many as you can. He can choose three of them, and then I would then have to move forwards and engage the six from the forward position. First you have to shoot three. That's it. Yeah, first, oh, sorry. First I have to shoot three, then I have to move and shoot the other three. So, yeah. And I only get one shot at each. Okay, so you you get up to the mark, and you're basically going to be standing right about here. You know, left and a right. I don't know if I'm doing that right. A right and a left. So everything's going to be within the flagging. So now we have to break up that zone. So you got one goes out from one yard to 300. And then you break that, just that one section up into three categories. So you got 11, 12, 13. Same thing with two. You got 21, 22, 23 so on and so forth so when we're communicating i'll be up there on the mark spotting because you can see every target from the spot yes so if i get up there and i'm glassing and i see one at let's say 200 yards i'll say now i know it's I, in the one i'll zone. say it's in zone one left side that's all i gotta say or middle or right because it's only out to 300 but if i see a target from 300 to 600 that's broken up into four five and six but then i would say 41, which is far left mid-range. Or if I said 62, it's far right middle. You see how that works? Yeah, they should be able to. Yep, but it's deeper because that'll be a, that'll be 600 and beyond. Yeah. So this is just a system that we've, we've come up with. This will be on my own. And opinion. that way I can tell him because he, he hasn't done this before, so it's going to be really hard to get him in on these targets. That's and right. don't be afraid to grab your partner's rifle. If you can see the target and you know it, and you see that he's 15 degrees right, grab the buttstock and move it to where it's pointed, or grab the front of the rifle and pick it up to where he's pointed. Uh, it, it'll help quite a bit because this, this time you is going to go six minutes quickly. To do the whole thing, find him, engage him, and engage him. Yeah, and when you start the six minutes, all gear, pack, rifles, all have to be off the ground on you. You can't have the pack on the ground or anything else. When they say go, you run up to the mark. Set up I'll start on. glassing. He'll start riding, getting the dope. He'll be the first shooter, but he's getting me, he's riding down these distances that I'm giving him. You guys know that I'm running the SIG, the BDX, which tethers straight to the Kestrel. So I'll have my dope instantly. He'll be riding that dope down. I'll grab his Kestrel, and if it's, if it's close, he's got unlimited rounds, so he really doesn't have to have exact data. I can get them pretty close just with what I know. Yeah, 2.1. Yeah, exactly. They're going to use Only binoculars. binoculars. Guys, if no you're getting into scope. this, I'd stay away from spotting scopes, okay? Get you a good 10 power scope or a binocul binoculars. We brought two sets. We got the Leicas and we have the. Yes, we um, are. No casino. The SIG BDX. There might be a casino around here. Yeah, uh, DW, I've eaten at that place many times, and I've seen some people try to do that. Yeah, they get on yeah, the see, stage. Yeah, even Ramsey Country says, go buy those. Um, you know, there was an article that I read recently, I mean, are spotting scopes dying? And I, I believe they are. Um, for this type of stuff, having the stereoscopic viewing is a lot better, a lot less fatigue, and I well, think you can see Trace really well. depending on what you're doing. Because yeah. if you were shooting, like, king of two mile or something... 
Those binoculars. That, that's going to be different. Yeah. yeah. But how many of these guys are shooting king of two mile? I don't know. There's there's very few of you that are probably doing that. And so you're also going to say, why not spotting scope? Even a mile. Maybe. Most of your spotting scopes dial down to like 15. They don't get into that lower range. So your field of view is going to be smaller and you're going to be squinting the whole time. I might have a okay? spotting scope. So. Or trying to look. So this is what I do. Already answered. Gotcha. Already answered. It's a long day today, ladies and gentlemen. So on the really right stuff tripod, uh, what I'll do is I'll get the height that I want, that I want to be spotting from. And so I've got the leg set on this because I'm going to need a height that's high enough for me. And then on the SIGs, I'll just set this up real quickly. There you go. So you guys can see it. Most will use binos for the distances. Most shoot with it. Okay, so the thing that the bino is going to do is now you have a set of laser range finding binoculars that tether. Now I've got the really right stuff clamp on here. So this will go straight onto the Arca Swiss. So I can just open it up, lock this in, and now I've got the binos how I need them. Okay, so I've got the release here so that I can move them exactly where I want once I get it locked in. All I've got to do is hit it, and if I had a range right now, not only do I get the distance, but I also get the correction, the dope. So, which makes it really nice. It makes it really nice, and like really I said, fun. I can adjust the tension on these. Take care. So Take care. that if I want to move them slightly, I can. But if I want to do a full release, I can as well. If I want to take it off, that's it. Yeah, because we, we might put, have a put a rifle right, right on top of it. But yeah, that quick with the clamp. And we're both running the Arca on the on the rifles. Just like that. Shazam. All right. Any other questions before we end this? Madness. 47 people. That's right. See you, Eric. What's up, Joaquin? Abigail says, does. Does. Does what? Does this, does that, with a wiffle ball back. Up. So I'm on the run. The cop got my gun. <laughs> and right about now, I'm going to have some fun. You know, I started thinking about it. So, you guys are basically following two old men running around shooting rifle matches. It's yeah. crazy. Have Does the 4 and I have accessories for the T1X? T3, I think. T3X? Yep. Uh, well, a lot of their Arca Swiss rails will go right onto that M-lock onto the bottom. That's the one that I have on my Tika. Yep. I took it off. Her Ramsey Country's, man, we're always spot on on this. I What's think he saying? Your two eyes are better for stereoscopic instead of fatiguing the one eye. Oh, and yeah. then when you do come off glass for a while on the spotting scope, now it's trying to adjust again. These are the SIG, the, do, the BDX 3000s. We're on my phone, though, so I can't check it. These are actually, okay, can you grab those uh, Leicas? Maybe. Or are they close? They're at the bottom. So, guys, you can get these for less than $1,000 now. Now, I, I will tell you, I'm not a, I had not been a <laughs> big fan of SIGs. But these have beat the Leicas out in every way with regards to being able to hit soft targets but this will also tether straight to the kestrel so that when i press it i get the range but i also get the hold that the kestrel says on there the leicas have better glass yeah but ray most of us are older guys too yeah that's true that's true i, I would think most of most of us on here are is the loin stock stick as hell so the leicas are going to run you know 2500 to three thousand dollars depending on the model but they have laser range finders in them these are the HDBs, and they work really well. They've been great for me, but they don't tether. The new ones tether directly to the Kestrel, but you could buy three of these for one of these. That's a fact. No, I will be running the Skypod. Yeah, you will here. The Sky Bipod. This will be on my rifle, and the reason I want that length of the double is because of the cant, especially with some of the rocks. Yes, you can. And yes, then if can. I need to get something where I'm shooting off the tripod, I have the really right well, stuff. Let's show them the difference. So here is the Atlas. Okay, so let me go. You're, those are fully okay. fully uh, collapsed. Okay, you guys yeah. see the difference? Now, wait a minute. But what I can do is if I want a wider stance, I can lock it out, lock it out more, lock it out more, lock it out a whole lot more. So I can adjust the width of this. I can't do any of that. He can't do any of that. I can do this. Can you do that? 
Here, okay, so he can do that. Here. Let's hold it up higher so they can see. And I can do this and this and that. Holy sweet baby. So I can actually get in a modified seating position and use this. This is the double. These are about $700. Good lord. Okay, it also cant. it also has 120 degrees of cant on it. Yeah, let's see. So you guys can see this, and if I adjust this width out, let's get really crazy with it. Oh shit! Look at that. Getting crazy. Now yeah. it's like headed down the highway. <laughs> I just got the little Wait, chopper. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, good boy, man. <laughs> so these are both set up for the Arca Swiss Rail. Guys, you only go through life once. That's right. So be an idiot like me and Ray. Make every day a great one. I will say I do like this, but if I was to do it over again, I'd... Yeah, I have one of the new ones I'd on rob the order, and, get and I talked to Sky. He says they're running a little bit behind. So this model has been improved upon, and I think one of the things they've changed on it, guys, um, Sky is the, um, the inventor of this, which... MDT also sells these now, yep. but they're going to go with a toolless tensioner on this because right now I have to use an Allen key on that end if I want to adjust it. Um, the only other thing I wish it had was a hard barricade stop like that. Yeah, ape hangers. I, I just, I would need to have, you know. <laughs> All I need is the rest of the bike. Yeah, no guarantee to tomorrow, guys. You know, Rick and I were talking about that today. You yeah, could, we could have gotten a wreck. Any, we could have gotten a anything. plane crash. Live life to its fullest. And then you guys have seen this. Ziborka tools. I can hear my checking account screaming. Yeah, these aren't cheap. These are going to run a little over $700. Um, oh, I, I didn't even show you this feature is, you know, how much you can actually throw these forwards. Yeah, there like this, but they won't pan backwards, okay? You can't do that with them. It's just, it's really quick. I'm not having to pull any levers or anything, just pull it. Whatever the Kestrel, I got out of the Kestrel. Why do they make this so long, you know? I have no idea. I've got a new design for that. So, so I will be doing a Kestrel pouch as well. We've already worked on that. Um, oh, I'm running uh, Blue Force. Yeah, Blue Force gear sling. I need to mount this up for tomorrow too. It's a good thing we got the Borka tool set. Yep. Hey. So Otter says A. 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 He's from uh, Iceland. No, but today's from uh, where's the the Canadians? Don't they say A? What do you think there, Rick? Ray A. Or right. 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 You're drinking a beer there, right? <laughs> well, I'm like, yeah. Matter of fact, I am. <laughs> Tell us about the Kestrel pouch. Oh, no. Okay, so just really quickly. Oh, the new one? Yeah, yeah can I see that nope. pouch? Nope. So you guys know I'm doing the work with the uh, the data folder. The problem with this is, and yeah, I do like this setup. It has a lot of cushioning in it. The problem is it's too long, and they do give you a Velcro pouch in here, but I don't need that extra space. Uh, they do put a battery pack here, and maybe that battery pack not getting into the bottom, but this thing still slides around everywhere. I think that's And it, it has a molly on the back. So I'm making a thin profile one to go inside of the bad MF. I think that design was around the wing that you put it on and use it as a weather station. Oh, yeah, maybe vein. so. And I never use that vein as a weather station. Uh, we're Ever. on the move. We don't have time to set that Ain't up. Ain't nobody got time for that. And then to keep my mags from getting all clanged around, I just got them all taped up in between bags. Are you using applied ballistics on your Kestrel? What do you think about the 4DOF from Hornady? Or was that was not the, the A Canadian? Yeah, Canadian. Um, I haven't used the 4DOF, and I know things come and go. Just like Horace used to have their ballistics program. The applied ballistics seems to work really well for me, so I really don't want to be switching anything up right now. I'll just keep doing what I'm doing, and if I get shown, I mean, if you're new and you can start fresh, maybe try it first, but, you know, I might use Streelock or use the Kestrel, but I'm, I'm going to use the Kestrel in a match. Mark your stuff so if you leave something at the last stage, you might, they'll know who it goes to. Yeah, you might end up with it again. Of course, everybody's going to be all... Icicle. Icicle. Icicles. Icicles. Other than that, that's All what right, we yeah. got. 
Gonna be making this thing ring noise tomorrow. The Thunder Beast. Oh, what are you talking about? Got to meet Zach today. Yeah, I introduced Rick to Zach Smith, uh, one of the owners of Thunder Beast. Uh, and Jimmy holds Jimmy and Casey, those guys run the competition dynamics match. So great, great group of guys. And uh, they've got some new stuff coming out this year they with uh, Thunder Beast suppressors. I got to play with one of them today, and it was pretty cool. I yeah, have to add that to the list. I can see that coming for sure. All right. Oh, and in other news. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> see, you guys missed this. ATF called me the other day and they want to do an inspection. So we had we had all this mess on the floor. So myself, Sam, and Rick, big shout out to both of them, uh, used use a gold paint pen next time. <laughs> is what he said. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so when we come back from this match on Monday, they're going to be at the house first thing on Tuesday. <clears throat> so yeah, as if I didn't have enough going on. So I know. Yeah, if you've ever yeah, helped, enough. if you've <laughs> ever helped your buddy out. Hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> and I'm not responsible for the comment section down below. It's out of control. It's out of control. You know what? There's 47, 46 people here. 27 thumbs up. Oh, we got 28. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Hit the... What the hell? This is my propeller. Here, put it on your head then. For, for my airplane. Do you oh. have an idea? What? What's the idea? Besides knocking my ass out. <laughs> I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> Sucker gonna knock you out. You should put it on your head, fool. That'd have been a cool picture. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting it. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. So if, if you've hit that thumbs up button, I do appreciate it. Let's see. Based oh, on see. the understanding, the four DOF is based upon ballistic calculator, which determines trajectory solutions based on projectile drag coefficient, not ballistic coefficient. Just an idea. Like this. All I need to do is put some paper around. I got a Chinese cat. This looks better. <laughs> you weren't going to let me do that, were you? Uh -uh. You're like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. You ain't messing with that. You're not touchy-touchy. You don't touch the Mama said knock you out. That's right. Hopefully you won't have to tell us how to add money to your account in prison. Oh, no, no. It's, I'm all legit. They just... You know, you, you got to do inspection, so that's what it is. Put the ace tripod on your to your advantage, advantage, guys. Grab it. You got it? I got it right there. I'm kind of lazy right now. He's lazy. He doesn't want to do anything. I drove all day. The carbon fiber rice paddy hat. That's right. Here you go, plus five. There it is. Made the trip with us. That's right. This is actually mine. That is yours, actually. Yep. Look at the feet. I was very impressed with the feet plus five. Uh, very, very good machining on that. Love it. Um, I like what you did here, especially with the data card holder and everything. Uh, that's nice. Why, did we, said, why well, did we take it, Ray, they asked? Uh, just as a just in case, and that way he's got a tripod as well. Let's say he's on a shooting position <clears throat> where who knows what you're going to run into. But let's say he's on a shooting position where I'm on the tripod because I'm using it for binos or something like that. Maybe he needs a rear brace. Maybe the front of his rifle is on a rock. This will give him something to hold or brace off of that he doesn't have. Because remember, you have to be on that spot and be able to touch it. Another tool in the shed, or in the tool belt, and it's really lightweight. Tool in the shed. Hey, I don't carry a tool belt. I carry a shed with me. <laughs> so, Hey, you never know when you're going to need a shed. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, you, you don't know. Uh, you don't know what you're going to need. So we took the ball head off so it didn't get damaged in the backpack. And like I said, it's tiny, it's lightweight, it fits it? right in the pack. It slices. It dices. It dices. Um, and it can knock them out. Knock, sucker. Let's see. That's it. That's, that's all Pretty we got. Pretty much it. Unless you guys got some questions. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, like I said, we'll try to get some footage of it. And I'm gonna try my best. Hopefully my best is good enough. Longest distance you will be shooting. Uh, typically on this match, everything is less than a thousand yards, but you're gonna have higher angles and a lot of wind. A lot of wind. It was flipping. Thank you, plus wind. five. It was flipping windy today, man. Yeah, today was no joke. I would have hate to have had to have shot today. There was a cool, really cool sunset though. C6 squad, good luck. 
I appreciate it. I could use it. San Miguel, what's up, buddy? Yes, I have, but no answers. LOL, just kidding. You guys are great. I appreciate that, Otter. Thanks, Otter. Hopefully, uh... And everyone else is watching. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, you guys... Who was it? Uh, Josie Wales. Josie Wales had asked us a question, so I figured why not just show you, because we haven't unpacked anything yet, exactly what it looks like. So, the worst part would, would have been is if we opened that up and there wasn't anything in there and the uh, TSA basically stole our stuff. That, okay, that, that's and, why and I, I have mentioned this once before in a chat for those that didn't catch it. I, when I shot this match a few years ago, I showed up in Amarillo and no rifle case. Gone. Couldn't find it. We stayed at the airport for over six hours and they could not find it. Well, I had suppressors and everything else in there, so what I did was... Call the local. I told him, I said, I'm going to have to call the sheriff's office and we're going to have to file a, um, you know, lost or stolen firearms report. <laughs> and... You two are all right for a bunch of old guys. Yeah. <laughs> I like and that. And magically, within 30 minutes, it way. showed up. Yeah, because somebody had stolen it and figured they were going to go to jail. Ramsey Country, get to bed, buddy. Good night, everyone. I'm actually getting tired, too. I I didn't actually sleep. I forgot about that. Oh, I did get a couple hours on the plane. I just skipped the whole sleep thing. How many hours did you get before you had to meet me? A couple? Uh, about two hours. Two yeah. hours, yeah. Two hours. So, we can sleep when we're dead. That's right. As long as you stay healthy and you get enough to function, I think you're fine. Good night, Ramsey Country. See you, Ramsey. Good night, Ramsey Country. All right, well, with that said, we've been yapping for a while. We'll be back. We're going to try to do these uh, sporadically. Not so much tonight. Okay. And there was a question earlier. Um, I'll try to answer as best I can off the fly here. So a lot no. of people, you got extreme spread, <coughs> which is ES, and standard deviation, which is going to be your SD. If somebody wants to chime in, feel free to do so. But basically, your extreme spread is going to be your lows versus your highs okay so let's say you've got rounds that are measuring at 2700 feet per second and then you got some at 2800 feet per second your spread is going to be 100 feet per second the standard deviation is the consistency of the ammo okay and honestly the more you shoot the more rounds you shoot typically you will see that sd start to come down and what it's doing is it's looking at how close within that range let's say you're let's say my target is my target velocity is 2850. Well, if my high is, or in my extreme spread, let's say my extreme spread is a 10, and I have a 2855 as my high, and then 2845 as my low, a standard deviation would be very low, okay? Yeah, they all work together. But if you have, let's say... 3200. <laughs> well, let's say you have a big spread on like, your extreme spread like 32. then you're not going to expect a low standard deviation either okay or a, a it'll small, get lower the more you shoot or a small group either <laughs> yeah so that's how that works uh, I think both numbers are important but they both kind of go hand in hand and it's not an average like you can't take the certain amount and divide no that would just shots. be average velocity yeah. is what that is so that uh, work. do some work on uh, if, if you want to take some time there's most most of that information is online, but if you do any statistics work or anything like that, um, or take any statistics class, it'll cover a lot of that in there. There you go. We learned, so, we learned all sorts of stuff here. Last night, was it last night? We were learning about uh, back bone. Okay, so I wasn't going to tell on him, but uh, we were on the porch, and he was, we were looking at different insects. And um, Anyway, and I, was expla him, I was explaining I, to I him... Stuff. Basically, the order of the species. So basically, having like kingdom, Walter. order, genus, phylum, and he was looking at me like I had ten heads, and I was explaining that to him how you can have different still confused animals, but in the same animal class. Okay, think about it. You can have a dog, which is a variation of a wolf. I mean, it is a four-legged creature, but so is a cat. But a cat is going to be in a different family. Just yeah, like a house cat is different from a cheetah, lions. from a bobcat, exactly. Yeah. And so even even anything living, anything living, even if it's a plant, 
So you've got poor data. Me. I mean, you've got. Uh, yeah. I'm I mean, telling you, this guy knows all sorts of crap. Anyway, biology class. Yep, X Deuce. There you go, X Deuce. Yeah, it was pretty cool. We're we've had some funny conversations. Stuff you'd never think we'd talk about. <laughs> Is this match known for gusty winds? Yes, it's known for higher winds because where we're shooting. So the, the range is the Blue Steel Ranch, which is owned by John Paul, the owner of JP Rifles. He was actually here today. I was going to introduce uh, Rick to him, but he was talking to some other people. And it's basically up on a plateau, a huge, just think of a big finger. And you're basically shooting down <laughs> off of this finger, working your way all the way around the rim. And so, yeah, I mean, like tomorrow, I think, reali or Friday, realistically, we'll cover maybe three miles or so, three and a half miles, um, and then more on Saturday and then Sunday as well. Bed bugs. Yeah, we probably got some in here. No, I don't think so. This is a pretty clean hotel. It ain't bad. It's a bit tarantula in your pillow. <laughs> yeah, I've already pulled the covers back to make sure there was nothing walking in the bed uh, we'll find that them. I could see. You'll find them on your bed. Oh, you're going to find anything in everybody's bed. Uh, all kinds of things. Was, shoot, you have stuff growing in your eyebrows and your eyelashes. And What's crazy is, like, I don't know what the percentage is of dust in your home. It's actually not dust. It's your body skin. Yeah, it's uh, it's basically your, your, dander. Your, your dander. Your Yeah. Did you say dandelions? Dandelions. Yeah, you know what's really sick if you think about it? They said if, um, and I don't know the exact number. But, like, if you took your mattress that you've had in your house for, like, 10 years... Oh, I don't want to know. It has something like five or six pounds of dead skin cells in it. That's crazy when you think that about it. That is crazy, because you, you have the sheet. Sometimes you got the thing underneath the sheet. Mm. That's crazy. You just grinding it in there. Rotate all the, them mattresses. That's right. Just buy, throw it out, burn it, and buy a new one. All right. You're losing them like flies, so we're going to go ahead and shut it down. I'm ready. Got shit to do. Okay, so, all right. Blue light. It's not a giveaway. Yeah. So if a guy shows up in your yard and you hire him to do something and he's doing this with a twig, what I do know, you call that? Don't, 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 don't say it. Let me put what's, he looking, what's he looking for? What's he looking for? There's, there's a word for this. And it's not called witchcraft. It's typically they're using it to look for water, for a well. Why are you giving him the answers? Let yeah, but answer. no, no. What is, what is the rod called? You guys are exactly right. We're looking for water, but they there call it. it nope. Oh, oh, there it is. Sean's got it. Sean's it's actually got it. not a diving. It's a divining. 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 Yep. Man, you guys are getting close. That was really good. I appreciate you guys hey, bringing it in. Sean McDonald, divining rod. That's divining exactly rod. right. Nicely done. See, just a plethora of useless information. <laughs> yeah, useless information. Klaus, what's up? Yeah, witch and water is a word, but yeah. that's the divining rod. Divining rod. Sounds like something that should be like, oh, right? Water. Good luck. Walter, appreciate it, my friend. Dang, yeah, you know, that would have been a good give. Oh, by the way, um, we're going to be giving who won, away. Who won the giveaway the other night? Makhev. Which one? That's already been shipped. That should be to you Friday. Makhev won the big prize, the big yeah, box. We are going to be giving one of these away. The full kit. Not mine, not his. Big shout out to Plus Five. We will be giving out a full kit. Yep. I'm not sure how we're going to do it yet. I'll talk with uh, Plus Five. And we'll do a live deal and we will send a complete kit out to one lucky winner. Yeah, what, do you know Plus Five's website for that? It's right on there. Yeah, it's right. Well, I don't even need it, but it's on here. It's Death Squad, DeathXSquad.com. DeathXSquad.com. So if you guys are interested, but it will have everything that we had received from the famous plus five. And uh Hold on, I'll see here. We won't be giving that away. We'll probably do that after Sniper's Unknown. Get some extra people in it, we'll promote it a little better. Yeah, water diviner. Alright, so this is the mount card holder, phone holder that plus five does. For this, things are awesome. guys, this is a solid piece of kit right here, okay? The spring tension's great, extends out a long ways, and it'll accommodate a large phone or data rod or anything like that, or data card or anything. What in Hold the Hold on, hell? I'm trying to get cable. 
All right, we're out of here. Guys, we'll see you. Have a great evening. Adios. Thanks for joining. Time to go.